Welcome back to my channel guys, here is the Nyali vlog finally and this area right here is the Sukimau train station and we already headed there and this was our mean of transport at that time. We got the train station ready to travel for the holiday. I'm sorry this video had to come in late, it was prepared very very early but it's late. But either way as long as you get it right. Using the SGR transport was very convenient because from Nairobi to Mombasa takes approximately 5 hours and that was very very good time for us. This was indeed a satisfactory. <laughs> Travelling from Nairobi, we used the 3 o'clock SGR train, which got us to Mombasa at around 9 o'clock, a bit past 9 o'clock. And getting here, we almost missed dinner because here they had uh, the dinner time. We missed that dinner time because it usually ends by around 9. And at this point, we were the last guests to come in. So we almost missed this dinner. We went first to the rooms so that we could change and pack our things and leave them there. But on arrival, we got a very, a very, very different room that we had not even planned for, that we had not even paid for. So it was a very bad experience. It was dirty. The place hadn't been cleaned yet. The sinks had stains and also the washroom wasn't clean. We just found a bit of things that we, we did not like and we had to go make the complaints back to the reception until when they were good enough to give us a different kind of a room. This one was bigger and very very good. It was clean also and at least with these we were able to settle on this. And also I'd like to add you guys when you're paying or looking for your hotels for staycations online make sure that the hotels you see on the photos are the exact hotels you're given when you get there most hotels don't usually give you what you ask for and once you get the deal that you're supposed to get then that is very good which happens rarely sometimes you have to make these complaints so that you're given a different room the last time i traveled to mombasa was in 2019 but I had not started my vlogging life yet, that's why I don't have that video with me. And even at that time, the room that we had chosen wasn't the one we got. And after making a few complaints, that's when we got now the room that we were supposed to get. And again, since it wasn't a peak season, we were given the room that we were even upgraded to a room, a bigger room that we hadn't even paid for. There were no people and it was still okay and they felt it's still the same to stay in that room. So when you travel when it's not peak season, just know that sometimes in some places you get privileges to enjoy some of the things you had not paid for and that's an extreme plus because at the end of the day the peace and comfort is what you're looking for and that is what will actually get you go there the next time you think about traveling or recommending this to any of your friends and family members. In this case, the room they had chosen for us was very nice, very clean and very big. We really liked this room. The rooms located in this side face directly at the beach and the pool. The beach and the pool are located in the same direction but at different places because there's a huge distance between the pool and the beach. Only that they're located at the same direction. This was nice because now the view from the balcony was very, very magnificent. We found a very nice chef afterwards who then prepared for us some dinner. We got the dinner that was left over, but it was very, very good dinner. And we really appreciated because he was a very good person.
this is the next day after checking in and it's morning breakfast starts at 6 till around 9 so i was up early around this was around 6 30 i think 6 30 to 7 i wanted to explore this area a bit and i wanted to just take strolls and the first place i noticed was this area over here that didn't even look like mombasa because of how the grass looks like there were less palm trees and there was really nothing about mombasa <laughs> you wouldn't have guessed so I found this tennis court over here and I feel this is very good. It's a very nice spot, especially for those people who are very active in the morning. Tennis is a good way to start your day and I think you can also do a bit of jogging around this area. It was really nice exploring this place and wow, by 6.30 this sun was out like this. Such a beautiful morning. <laughs> I also noticed that there are two hotels of this same kind that I discovered. I'm not sure if there are still more, but I noticed this is the Nyali South Africa Beach Hotel and Resort. And we also have the South Africa Hotel. The first time, I think we confused. If you're going to watch this video up to the second part, then you'll be lucky to understand what I'm talking about. Make sure you stay tuned to watch part two because this is only part one. And you'll only understand this when you watch the second part, so stay tuned. In case you're not a subscriber yet, make sure you subscribe. Hit on the like button if you also like this video. Share this video out and also you can comment whenever you feel like. And your support is highly appreciated. Let's go together and thank you so much for where we've gotten to so far. And yes, so this is the Nyali San Africa Beach Hotel. And during this exploration, I just loved everything that was around this area. The nature is just so beautiful. These are the hotel rooms in the white section. All these are the rooms. And it was, I would say, since it was a holiday mood and around that holiday period, we had some neighbors around, of course. We weren't too many people, but it was just some good amount of people. And for me, I wouldn't enjoy traveling during peak season, even though it's the holiday vibe. I will just love traveling when it's off peak because then you get so many, you get away with so many privileges, including the payments. And this time we got these on offer and it was very, very wonderful. And still I detail these on the part two. So if you're interested to know what it's all about, then stay tuned to watching the second part and this is only possible if you subscribe to this channel otherwise you won't get that notification when the second part is out <laughs> 